YouTube world back at it once again, Instant Classic 8. Um, I was wanting to get this video done earlier this week, but I was a little under the weather and I'm starting to feel a little bit better today. And obviously everything starts today, so I want to get this out. What I'm talking about is my uh, preview video for SummerSlam. Um, normally I don't really get hyped for SummerSlam, but uh, this year is a little bit special because I am actually going to SummerSlam. Um, I am very much looking forward to this show. Uh, we got a lot of things on tack this weekend. Um, SummerSlam itself is going to be Sunday, Barclays Center in Brooklyn. First time going to the Barclays Center, so I'm super excited for that. Um, just looking at the cards, a lot of matches on here. It's going to be a four-hour show. They're going to treat this like uh, almost like a WrestleMania, which is pretty cool. Uh, four hours will be a little bit hard to sit through, but um, as long as the show is fun, I'm going to have a good time. Um, you have the main event of Brock Lesnar and Undertaker. Um, I am somewhat excited for this. Um, obviously the last match they had at WrestleMania, um, WrestleMania 30 last year, uh, wasn't all that great. Granted, Undertaker was hurt. He had a concussion, but the match still, it wasn't all that great. Grant, the, the finish, of course, is the greatest finish of all time, but we can't get that again with this match here. But, uh, healthy Undertaker, he looked... He looked good against Bray Wyatt at, at WrestleMania, so I should expect this to be pretty good. Um, not really sure what's going to happen. They're doing this whole heel thing with The Undertaker. I don't know if he's going to go fully heel. I'm excited to see what New York, if they decide to boo uh, The Undertaker, they cheer Brock Lesnar. The circumstances have just made this match a little bit interesting. Um, again, I might not get the, the wrestling classic, but... Uh, it should still be a fun spectacle to see. Uh, other matches that you have, just doing off the top of my head really quickly. Um, John Cena versus Seth Rollins. That should be really good. Um, I'm hoping they give them a good amount of time. They can really, really steal the show. Uh, title versus title. I don't really see either of the guys winning the other belt. I don't see Seth Rollins winning the U.S. title. I don't see John Cena, at least right now, winning the world title. Of course, I could be wrong, but either way, the match should be really fun. Um, you have uh, Kevin Owens versus Cesaro. They're very much looking forward to seeing that. Um, Orton and Sheamus, not looking forward to that. Uh, the guy from uh, Arrow? Arrow. The guy from Arrow is going to be there with Stephen Amell, that's his name. Stephen Amell and Neville going against Stardust and Wade Barrett. Celebrity match. The guy is pretty athletic from what I saw on Raw, so, you know, who knows? We'll see what happens uh, with that. Um, the Divas match, Team Bella, Team PCB. I think I'm saying that right. And then Team Bad. I hate the teams. I don't know if I've said that on... No, I haven't said it on video. These whole teams with the Divas, we have the Bellas, Paige, Charlotte, and Becky Lynch. And then you have uh, uh, Team Bad with Sasha Banks. Um, of course, I love the girls. Sasha's my favorite. Um, very excited to see them make to the main roster. But I don't like this whole team versus team thing. I'm just not a big fan of it. But either way, um, this might be good. I'd rather see like a one-on-one -on -one match between some of the girls. But hey... They're giving them time. It's whatever. Um, there's another Divas match on the show. No, there's not. That's all the Divas that's on there. Um, some other matches that I'm forgetting about. I already said Kevin, you know, Kevin Owens and Cesaro. Pretty much looking forward to seeing that. Um, some surprises should be there. Maybe Rock might be there. Austin might be there. Um, I just think it's going to be a really fun show. Um, SummerSlam last year was, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, this year should be, should be very good as well. Um, oh yeah, uh, another match they had on here. Right back, Big Show Miz, not looking forward to that. Uh, Harper and Wyatt versus Reigns and Ambrose. Something weird is going to happen in that match, I can feel it. But either way, I think the show is going to be really good. If they treat it like WrestleMania, give it this nice big presentation, the crowd in New York City, it should be a lot of fun, and I can't wait to go there. Uh, so we're going to that. Um, tonight we're actually going to... Ring of Honor in Philly um, at the ECW Arena. This is like a TV taping. Um, normally I don't do TV tapings, but you know, but this whole weekend I want to see Ring of Honor. Unfortunately, uh, they're running a show tomorrow in Brooklyn at the uh, baseball stadium. Um, 
But it's the same time as NXT, and it's just a big mess. So we're going to go to ROH tonight in Philly. Um, they got a lot of good matches on there. The main one I'm looking forward to, uh, Nakamura versus Adam Cole. All this stuff is going to be on TV, which is cool, but uh, Nakamura versus Adam Cole. Um, Okada is going to be there. I think he's going to be teaming up with uh, uh, Rapungi Vice, I think. And I don't know. It's, just, it's a really nice card. Seeing the New Japan guys again, even though we saw them, or at least I saw them, in uh, May. I don't know if I ever mentioned that, but back in May, I went to two ROH shows in Philly with the New Japan guys. I went to two NXT shows in Philly as well. Uh, it was a really fun trip. If you're not already, follow me, please. Twitter.com slash The Real Classic. Um, that's where you can see all my stuff, uh, see what I'm doing. Of course, I don't always make videos, but if you want to know what's going on, definitely follow me on there. So that should be a lot of fun tonight. Uh, tomorrow is NXT. Takeover in Brooklyn as well at the Barclays Center. So that will be my first time going to the Barclays Center. Uh, we have tickets for that. 13,000 people sold out the arena. That is insane. This should be a lot of fun. Uh, Kevin Owens versus uh, Finn Balor in the ladder match for the title. That should be a lot of fun. Um, Becky Lynch, not Becky Lynch, but Sasha Banks versus Bailey. Um, of course, I love Sasha Banks, but I fully expect Bailey to win this, which is no problem. I have I, I really love ba Bailey, um, but that should just be a really good atmosphere, especially if Bailey wins. The pop of the crowd is probably gonna be insane. Um, uh, who else is on there? Um, I mean, it's, it's a bunch of matches. You got like three divas matches on there. Uh, uh, you have uh, Enzo and Kaz in that big tag team match. I wish they were actually on the live show just so everyone can hear the pop. But otherwise, you're going to see it on the TV show, and um, it's, it's going to be insane. That show is just, with the crowd and then the two main events, that show should be a lot of fun. Uh, so, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this weekend. Um, with me missing WrestleMania this year, that trip that I took in May kind of helped fill the void of not going to WrestleMania. And this trip as well. Uh, no clue at all when SummerSlam will ever come back to the East Coast. So I'm definitely taking advantage of it. So ROH tonight, uh, NXT tomorrow night, NXT TakeOver Brooklyn tomorrow night, and then SummerSlam on Sunday. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, let me know what you think if you're watching, if you're excited for it. Uh, again, twitter.com slash real classic. That's where you can see all my tweets and see what's going on and see my thoughts on everything. But either way, I will come on here and give you my review on all the shows. But until then, I am Instant Classic Kate. Peace.